Hello everyone, and many of you might have seen my other video called Transferring iTunes Music. In that video, I show you how to transfer your iTunes music from one computer to another using an external hard drive. But today, I got an email from Kimber that says, Hey, I'm trying to move my iTunes library from my old computer to my new computer. I watched your video on YouTube, and I don't have the external hard drive thing. Is there any way to do it without an external hard drive? Well, Kimber, there actually are a few ways you could do it without an external hard drive. Just to show that, I'll go ahead and get the camera, and all these things I'll show you um, will be free besides like the hardware for the CDs, but I'll put the links in the sidebar of the video for you. The first thing you could do is kind of easy, but it will take up a little bit of time and some external resources. The first way I'm going to show you is simple. All you have to do is go to iTunes. Now if you have a giant library, this might not work that well. But if you have a smaller one, it will work nicely. And in iTunes, go up to the top. Go to iTunes, Preferences. Then it will come up like this. You want to go to the Advanced tab. And it will be on General. Change General to Burning. And go down and change Disk Format from audio CD to data CD or DVD. Now, you can then drag all your um, songs into a playlist then call it CD, and I made another video on playlists. And basically, then it will burn it to a CD or DVD, because obviously it won't be able to fit onto one, but it fits more than if you're burning an audio one, and it keeps the sound titles. The second way, what you could do, is use, if you're on a Mac, use a program called iPod Disk 2.0 B1. This is a freeware program that basically allows you to look at your iPod in the Finder menu and drag all of your files to iTunes. But hey, what if you're not using an iPod? Well, there's another great program called iPod Copy. Now, iPod Copy is um not free, but it has a free 30-day trial. And with that 30-day trial, you can do everything that you want to. I can't really show you the program because I'm on a Mac, obviously, but that program will let you do that. But then if you don't want to use any of those and you have a smaller library, you could always use like a USB device, you know, one of the little flash drives or something. But usually those won't work if you have a giant li Whoa, I'm zoomed. That was scary of it. Um, usually that won't work if you have a giant library because it'll take forever, especially if it's a smaller one. So that's basically how you can do it without an external hard drive. No, these might take a little longer, but they still work perfectly if you want to easily transfer your smaller library of music. That's it. My email address is techstuff, T-E-C-K-S-T-U-F at gmail.com. Thanks, and have a great day.